Hi, I'm Mary Poplin with Boris FX, and today we're going to talk about how to do a sky replacement. We're going to replace the sky on this lovely horse shot, and we're going to talk about some compositing tricks to make this look really nice. We're going to use the new BCC Primat Studio to pull a key for the sky, and we're going to use the Mocha Pro Insert Tool to replace the sky itself. We downloaded this clip from our friends at Pond5. When working with stock footage, sometimes we select a shot for its content, but we might like to make some changes to make it fit our project better. For example, I love this shot of the woman and horse, but I want to change the sky to be a little bit more colorful. So let's get started. So here's my original plate inside of After Effects, and we're going to drag our sky into this shot as well. And that's my sky. Now don't worry about the sky being a still because we're going to use the Insert Modules 3D Offset to animate this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to name this original plate, only spelled right, and we're going to duplicate this. And we're going to call this Primat Studio Key. We're going to go to our Effects and Presets. And we're going to grab BCC Primat Studio and drag and drop it right onto our layer. Now we're going to view our heads up display, which is right here. Let's hide our background. What I like about Primat Studio is that it's very visual. We can either use a point to select or we can use a rectangle to grab a larger area. We can also use clean background to start pulling more color in our key. Even though we have a completely unevenly lit sky, we can still pull a pretty decent key. I'm going to hit clean foreground real quick and clean up some of this edge of this horse here so that we don't lose our light wrap. And right away you can see we have a pretty robust key. You can see our final mat looks pretty good. I'm going to add a little edge correction and let's add a little softness to the edge of our mat by using hybrid enable. And that's going to get rid of a lot of our spill on our edges. Now I'm not going to worry too much about this soft detail down here towards the bottom and the sunlight because I actually want to keep this lens flare. And if I replace the sky all the way down where this lens flare is, the lighting's not going to look correct. So we're actually going to use a mocha mask to keep this detail on a later level. Let's turn our original plate back on and we're going to change our BG color to get rid of some of that darkness that we had. Let's select our original plate and let's find Mocha Pro. Let's duplicate our original plate and call this Sky Replacement Mocha Pro. I'm going to navigate to Mocha Pro and we're going to drag and drop that right onto our Sky Replacement layer. Now let's track our background. I can see that this area is fairly visible throughout the entire shot, so I'm going to draw a mask right around this texture I'm going to turn my grid and surface tool on so I can see what my track is doing. And because this is a background plate, we actually don't want to track um, shear and perspective. Shear and perspective are going to give us warping detail that we don't need. When you're tracking a background, it's moving so far back in parallax that shear and perspective are not visible. So we're going to do translation, scale, and rotation. And we're going to hit track backwards. Now we're tracking backwards because we wanted to find an area that was never obscured because that makes tracking easier. So we're just going to let this mocha track follow this tree throughout the shot and when we're done we'll composite the sky in. Tracking has been sped up because I don't want to make you sit through tracking 615 frames at about a half second a frame. Now because that part of the tree went off screen we're just going to grab our shape and move it over we're just going to keep tracking that tree backwards. Notice how when I move the shape, it doesn't change what the track is doing. It just changes where the track is looking. You can only trust the surface and grid tool to show you what the track is doing, not the shape, because the shape can be animated independently of the surface and grid tool, because the shape tool is a child of the track. Now let's check our track. Looks really good to me. So now I'm going to save this and close it, and I want to show you how we can bring our JPEG in from our comp in After Effects. Let's go to our module renders, and we're going to select our insert layer, and we're going to select sky JPEG. 
So now when I launch Mocha, I can select my layer and click my insert clip, insert layer. And you can see there's my sky right inside my surface tool. Let's go ahead and expand my surface tool by hitting align selected surface. That will put my surface tool to the edges of my shot. I'm going to expand this a little bit. So as you can see, we're scaling up and rotating, and we probably really don't want to do that if we're a sky. We probably only want to move in translation to reflect the camera movement. So this is where I can show you how to use your dope sheet. We're going to go into our track tab, and you can see we have translation X, translation Y, rotation scale, shear, and perspective. We're actually going to just leave translation X and translation Y, and then everything underneath that we're going to delete. So now I've just got translation. And let's see what that looks like. That's much more realistic. Let's make sure our sky is arranged nicely. What I like about the insert tool is that it goes semi-transparent so you can really see where you're placing everything. Now we've got a much more natural motion to our sky. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my insert tab. And instead of my insert tab, I'm going to jump over to the transform. We're actually going to apply a 3D offset to this track. So we're going to make a depth pass, so let's hit Apply 3D Offset, and let's put a depth pass of 0 0.1. Now, you can see that that changes the scale of my object quite a bit, so we're going to go ahead and actually increase our scale to 1.6. And let's make a depth pass of actually 0 0.01, maybe a scale of 1.5. And I feel like what that'll do is that'll give me just a little bit of pushback on my sky while still remaining glued to the track. This is actually just a really quick way to do a fake 3D offset inside of the Mocha Insert tool. It'll make the sky feel a little bit more natural. We're going to save this and close it. And inside of my insert, I'm going to do Insert Cutout and hit Render. Now, as you can see, we have some problems. If you look at our trees, where the light part of the trees touches the dark background, it doesn't look very natural. So let's duplicate our original plate and let's call this Lighting Adjust. We're going to drag this above our sky replacement, and we're going to do a screen. Let's adjust our opacity a little bit. And now I want to isolate this effect so that we're just screening down here at the bottom of our shot. I want it to be nice and blue up at the top of our shot. So let's launch our Mocha on our previous layer. Let's name this Sky Replace Track. Let's turn our gear off, lock it, and hide it. Let's hide our insert layer and lock it again. And now let's draw a nice mask along the bottom of our shot and call this Flare Replace. We're going to link this to our Sky Replace track. I'm going to use the Uber key, pull my mask out. Now that'll offset animate my mask. I'm going to export my shape data as Mocha Shape Data for After Effects. If I had this Mocha plugin on the layer that I'm going to paste this onto, I would not do this. I'd just use Apply Mask, but instead I'm going to copy it. So we're going to copy the clipboard. We're going to put our insert layer back, save, and close. We make sure we're selected on our Lighting Adjust layer. We go to Edit, Paste Mocha Mask, and now my mask will be right here. I'm going to twirl down my mask and add a feather. I can still see a little bit of feathering problems here. So I'm going to do a mask expansion of about 100, maybe 200. All right, and I feel like that takes care of that problem. I can even come in and composite the sun back in because I feel like we're losing it. So let's duplicate our original layer, move that above our lighting adjust. Let's call this our sun replace. Launch Mocha. We're going to set our insert to none, draw a shape right around our sun, call this sun. We're going to link it to our Sky Replace track. Looks pretty good. Let's take our insert clip and put it back on our insert layer. Select our sun, export shape data, copy that to the clipboard, save and close. Click on Sun Replace, make sure we're on our first layer. Edit, paste Mocha Mask. We're going to add another fairly extreme feather, and now we have our bright sun in the background. But if you look at our Sky Replacement, we get a lot more detail back in our sky. Now I do see some compositing problems in here. For instance, I see we're losing the side of the horse, and I see that we don't have a lot of black background. So let's put our heads-up display up, let's clean our foreground, and just select the side of the horse. And that cleans up our horse. 
Now that cleans up a lot of our foreground, but we're losing a lot of detail on our background tree here and these edges of these background trees over here. So what I'm going to do is slightly cheat. I'm going to take my original plate and duplicate it. I'm going to call this darken tree edges. Drag this all the way above because we have such a white background and I'm going to hit darken. And I'm actually going to hit multiply. And just like that we can get a pretty nice key and a pretty excellent sky replace. So here's our before. And here's our after. Special thanks to Pond5 for their generous donation of the stock footage. If you need stock footage, visit www.pond5.com. If you have any questions, you can find us online at www.boriseffects.com.